today we're going to cook Castle May Scots lamb, uh, the belly and the short saddle, the smoked aubergine puree, niçois garnish and pomme dauphine. Okay, first we're going to take a little bit of the fleece off, the little skin. I'm just going to cut in along the uh, spine there of the, the Scots lamb. We'd probably get three nice pieces out of this because it's got the belly to go with it. This is, is quite a fatty part, but then with the cooking method we use, we sort of uh, confit in the water bath with some duck fat. So again, that helps render it all down. Uh, it's all really sucking, but it's full of flavour. It's one of my favourite parts of that. It's really, really, really tasty. Season a bit of salt, a little bit of spice, some pepper, a little bit of the meat glue. Basically the same, same process again, but back to front. We've got so, we have some thyme, some garlic, some uh, duck fat inside the bag there. So we're going to um, back pat that down, then we cook it in the um, in the water bath at eight degrees overnight. Okay, for the the uh, smoked aubergine caviar, we're just going to take the, the aubergines on top of the stove. So it gives that sort of smoky flavour. Got them in tin foil, some olive oil, thyme, and garlic. Just bake those in the oven for about twenty minutes at one sixty. Peel them and we just chop through them. A bit of seasoning, a bit of pepper, a nice little spoonful of yogurt. Just give that a nice little mix together. So the pumpkin we're going to have could be in the Scotch lamb today. We've got water and butter. Those, those two will just be brought to the boil with a little bit of seasoning, some, some uh, plain flour, whole egg, and finally some uh, potatoes which have been baked in the oven rather than in water just so it keeps them nice and dry. Okay, so we've got some uh, baby vial artichokes. We're just going to turn these down, um, sort them off, and then you know, the, the dish will build from there, really, the Nisua style dish will build from there. We'll just give it a little rub, a little bit of lemon. So we're just going to take the choke out, the little inside bit here. We're just going to cut the artichokes in half, a little bit of shallot, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of seasoning into the hot oil. Again, not too hot, you don't want them to, to burn too quickly or colour too quickly. Shallot and garlic in there, a little bit of thyme. A little squeeze of lemon juice in there. Here we've got the, uh, the, the breast, the belly of uh, scotch lamb. Just going to cut it into nice little rectangles. One of the garnishes on the dish is a uh, little um, anchovy, black olive, caper and, and parsley little croquette. We just take the a little bit of filling, put it inside the basil leaf, and then we just panne that in some uh, flour, egg, uh, and breadcrumbs, like so. We're just going to take some some of the gems, just going to go through the uh, the artichokes at the last minute. Green beans. These are of Kalamata, I've got stone in them. A little bit of preserved lemon as well. Just going to just dice a little bit of this to go through the sauce. A couple of capers, some tomatoes. Okay, a little bit of the parsley. So I'm just going to take these the sweetbreads, they've been uh, lightly, lightly branched, uh, all the sinew and skin taken off them, so I'm going to pop in the um, baby gem leaves just to move that out while that's really finishing off there. Into here, green beans, capers, olives, parsley, the, uh, the lemon that we had, a little bit of the lamb jus in there just to help finish it off. Okay, so we're not going to season the belly because that's already been seasoned. It's, it's, you know, it's got a nice intensity of salt and all the aromatics in there. So it doesn't need any salt pepper at this stage. A little bit of butter into here. A little bit of thyme in there. Got a little dauphin balls. Just going to pop them in the fryer at 180. 